Fujifilm just announced a brand new analog Instax instant camera and we'll have a look at it. But first, let me go get a coffee. I'm good now. So today we'll be taking a look at the brand new Instax Mini 12 instant camera. It comes in five different colors. We have the clay white, pastel blue, mint green, lilac purple, and blossom pink. Okay, so let's find out what's inside the Instax Mini 12 box. First, we have an instruction manual. We have a hand strap, two alkaline AA batteries, and finally, the Mini 12 itself. Okay, so let's take a look at the design of the camera. It's very simple and I would describe it as bubbly, cloud-like. Now let's take a look around the camera. At the back, we have our back cover lock, which we can push down to open the back cover. And that is where we will put our Instax Mini Instant Film. Let's load it with some newly announced Instax Mini Heart Sketch Film. So we simply have to align the yellow tab on the film with the yellow tab inside the camera. Close the back cover and press the shutter button to eject the protective black card. Okay, so now on the back, we do have a little window that will allow us to see if there's film loaded inside of the camera so that we don't accidentally open up the back cover when there's film loaded because that would not be good for our film. Next, we have our film counter that will let us know how many shots are left in the film pack. Then we have our viewfinder that will allow us to frame our shots. This is a fun process to shoot through a viewfinder rather than looking at a screen. Looking at the top, we have our film ejection slot. This is where the photo comes out. And now with the Mini 12, we have an incredibly fast five second print time. On the side, we have the battery compartment. The camera uses two AA alkaline batteries that are included. Now looking at the front, we have our flash that will automatically fire if needed. And next to it, we have our auto exposure light sensor and flashlight sensor. These sensors will automatically calculate the light to adjust the exposure to give you the best image. So you pretty much don't have to do anything about the light with the Mini 12. It's that simple and easy. Then we have our shutter button to take pictures. And moving to the lens now, we can see on the front that we have a selfie mirror. To turn on the camera, simply rotate the lens and you will see that the flash charging lamp will turn orange. That means that the camera is on and ready to take a picture. Now, if we turn the lens further, we can get into the close-up mode. Now, when you enable the close-up mode, the viewfinder will shift and adjust for the best setting. You can see how the view from the viewfinder actually shifts. Now, the close-up mode will also be used to take selfies at arm's length. The nice thing about shooting selfie with this mode is that the camera will automatically adjust the settings for this type of shooting. In other words, you won't look too bright or white on your Instax prints. Again, the mirror is quite useful for that. By the way, one little tip here is that you should keep about 30 centimeters or 11 inches from the subject when you are shooting, even with the close-up mode, so that the prints will come out as you wish without any blurring. When you are not in the close-up mode, you should keep about 50 centimeters or 20 inches from your subject. Now, that pretty much sums it up for the new Instax Mini 12 instant camera. I love not only that it's an analog camera giving you a nostalgic vibe on your pictures, but also the fact that every image you take is unique. They can't be reproduced. It's just that floating moment, that fraction of a second captured, immortalized forever. So yes, I do love this Instax analog camera. Now we have something else to talk about. Fujifilm released a new Instax app. It's called Instax Up, and it will bring your Instax experience to the next level, and anyone can download it for free from your favorite app store. You can change the design of the app from the settings to either fun or classic. This app will let you scan your Instax photos and digitize them. You can make various corrections and add the time and date as well as location data so you can sort them later. You can scan an image of any format, mini, square, and even wide. But here, let me try out this mini photo that I took with the Mini 12. And yes, you can even scan this Instax Mini Hard Sketch design film. Even if you have actual writing on the photo, that will also be captured. Place the image on a flat surface and make sure that the surface you're shooting on is not the same color as your film border. And make sure that this green box is aligned with your photo and press scan. 
You can even remove glares on your photos just like this. You can also tag them to better organize them within your library. You can show them as a perfect list or even like they are stored in a box like this. I love how the film drops into the box just like how you would see it in real life. From your library, you can select one of the images to share on social media or simply send to your friends. You can also get a shot of the viewer itself and share it on social. Now with the Instax Up app, you can have your collection of Instax photos both in physical and digital format, which really makes it easy for you to share Instax images with friends, family, and the entire world if you want. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this look at the brand new and exciting Instax Mini 12 Instant Camera and the new Instax Up app. Now, as you know, I'm a big Instax fan. I have them all over my house, so definitely excited about this new product and app. So that'll be it for today, and now I have some Instax scanning to do.